Farm to Table, Saskatchewan's hog farmers are committed to safe, sustainable pork production. Enjoy the flavor of the world's finest pork raised by people you can trust. Visit saskpork.com or visit us on Facebook at Pick Sask Pork. You know, Harrison and I really enjoy cooking in the kitchen, and we want you to join us. So let's have some fun. Welcome to Cooked with Shaq. here this is called the leading tower of pork right here look at all these pork chops it is a look at that that is what we are cooking up today those are what we call center cut pork chops it could be a roast but no it's all cut up into steaks and they're pork chops and we're gonna fry them up and we're gonna grill them up and oh. it's gonna be awesome welcome to cook with Shaq I'm Shaq He's Harrison. How you doing today, Harrison? I'm doing really good Excellent. looking at all this meat over here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And we've got bacon here, too. I noticed that. Whew, it's going to be a show, I'll tell you that right yes, now. Also, check out Mike Hep. His album is called Elements. You're going to be hearing bits and pieces of this uh, particular CD throughout the episode of Cook with Shack today. So check out the CD and check him out when he is live in concert. Okay. Let's get right to this. You're Let's do this. What the heck is happening here? We've got all kinds of meat happening. So, have you ever had steak Oscar? Have you ever had that before? No. It is no. Um, steak that has a cream sauce that has seafood in it. Okay, and then the cream sauce goes right over top of the steak. We're going to do kind of a variation of that, but instead of seafood, we're going to have this cream sauce with bacon and mushrooms and it's gonna go over top of a great big oh, thick man. center cut pork chop. That's Beautiful. It. So it's gonna be kind of like an Alfredo sauce. We've done Alfredo sauces in the past where we have uh, cream cheese and cream and uh, Parmesan cheese and garlic and butter. Just l listen to that. Listen to what we're saying. This is, I'm, my mind is blowing. <laughs> this is crazy. This is, this is crazy. <sighs> That's what we're doing here tonight. But you know what? It's all gonna be awesome. So, we're gonna start things off. I'm not even sure what we're gonna do first. I think we have to cut the bacon up first and get it into the pan. So, yeah. let's bacon's start. priority. Now, here is a little bit of a tip. This pound of bacon mm -hmm. has been sitting uh, in the fridge for a while. So it's, it's, it's not, if you leave it outside, like, or leave it out on the counter, it gets kind of soft and mushy and all that. Right. Keep it in the fridge as long as you can because it cuts a lot easier. And now have a nice sharp knife. This this knife should be should be able to shave with this knife. And by the way, I think he should have had a shave today before the show. But uh, anyhow, <laughs> hey, we'll hey, see. We'll see no we judging around here. We don't judge. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get to this here. Just let's, cut the bacon. We're gonna cut the bacon. All right. Here we go. So, do you need help with that? No. Look at this. Oh yes. With a little bit of music help. Absolutely. I know I'm not allowed to touch the bacon. No. no. Probably can't even eat the bacon, we'll but, be I'll, but I'll play for the bacon. Sure. Playing for the bacon. All right, see, you get a nice sharp knife that just goes right through like butter. See, I'm playing soft because you're cutting very, well, yeah. you're, you're, not, you're not chopping this, you're it's just not, nice. It's not very chopping type of meat that we're doing here. We just want to do nice slices. Okay, so one more nice slice. You gotta watch your fingers on the last one here because and there. Just like that, <laughs> it is ready to go. Okay, all that bacon, every last little bit of it, into the pan. Every piece, I'm watching. Get that going, just like that. Now, what we want to do is render that down so that it's not crispy, 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 but we want to make it so it is nicely cooked and a lot of the fat is cooked out of it already. Because we're going to have a whole lot of fat in the, uh, after we get everything going. Oh, so. yeah. Now, we want to get that going, we want to crank up the heat a little bit more. Now, once that is underway, okay, that's good. Now, we want to get to our pork chops. Again, this is center cut pork chops. Now, 
These pork chops are about an inch thick. Look at that. Yeah. That's what you want right there. You know, you could get the little skinny pork chops, but basically those turn into jerky. Yeah. Pork jerky by the time you're done. You want to get it's a like nice a snack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to get a nice thick, one inch thick pork chop. Like you want supper, you know? Exactly. So you want to lay that out there. On a pork chop anyway. Oh, look at the size of that, baby. Ooh, that's a good one right there. All right. So I think we're going to go with four because I think that's the only amount of room that I can put in the pan. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, sorry camera guys. That's, <laughs> they don't get any today. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to eat tonight, guys. Oh, well. Okay, so now we're going to do this very, very simply. We're going to take some salt. If you want, you can put your own little spices on, but I think we're just going to go with the salt. And a little bit of pepper. I get a little bit of coarse, more coarse grind pepper on there. Now what we want to do with these pork chops, now you can grill them on your barbecue if you want. If you've got a frying pan, you can use the frying pan, go for it. We're going to use the grill pan because the only reason why they call it a grill pan is because it's got lines in it and it makes grill marks on your whatever you're making, whether it be chicken or steak or yeah. pork chops or whatever. So, stir this around a little bit. Now you want a nice hot, we're talking smoking hot. Look at how that baby is smoking right there. Yeah. Okay. Lots and lots of smoke coming off that pan. You want it super hot. You might want to turn off your smoke detectors in the house because it might go off. Okay. Just to, just to give you a warning, there's going to be a little bit of smoke happening here. Well, it might be so, my smoking guitar playing. That could be it too. All right. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Listen All to right. this sizzle. Oh, here, 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 listen. Get my microphone right in there. Can you, right there? Okay, perfect. Now, get to the next one. Look at, see that smoke coming off? Yeah. All right, now you want that to be sizzling like that because what we want to do is we want to do a quick browning of these pork chops. A little more salt on the other side. <laughs> oh boy, that pepper, the pepper is yeah. burning on the other side. We're good. No, that's good. So it's like a blackened. But throw some more on there. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> I do like my pepper though, so I am not complaining. No, nope. a lot love of pepper. pepper. Put yes. the pepper in there. It's just, like I said, you want to make sure <laughs> maybe we should get a gas mask or something because that pepper is really getting up my nose, but that's okay. We're good. Whew. Oh, all right. Now, we want to get a nice browning on the other side of this. We're not going to cook it all the way through because we're going to flip it over, get another browning on the other side, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay. What we want to do is seal all the juices in to that pork chop because a lot of times, it's easy to dry out a pork chop if you overcook it. I do every time. So this way, you seal in, you get it nicely browned on both sides, and then you seal in the juices, put it in the oven, and let it cook in the oven till whatever doneness you want, okay? Okay. So, let's see where we're at here. Let's check out the bacon. Got lots going on here already. I'll just sit back and uh, watch the show here. This is a great shack. You're doing a good job. <laughs> okay, bacon is going still. We're gonna keep on moving with that. Let's see how we're... <laughs> okay! That's still going. Still good, we're gonna keep on going a little bit. You know what, we're gonna take a break right now and we're gonna come back and these will be ready to go in the oven. The bacon will be ready to go. We're gonna chop up some mushrooms and we're gonna continue on with this meat, what would you call it, fantasy? It's yes. a meat fantasy, that's what we're calling it tonight on Cooked with Shack. Farm to Table, Saskatchewan's hog farmers are committed to safe, sustainable pork production. Enjoy the flavor of the world's finest pork raised by people you can trust. Visit saskpork.com or visit us on Facebook at Pick Sask Pork. Woo-wee! <laughs> 
<laughs> we got we got a little smoke going on in here. We got bit. some smoke, but that's okay. You know what? That means that it's time to flip these babies. Look at that. These center cut chops are ready to flip. See how that nice brownness is going on? Look at this. Okay, so now what's going to happen, you don't have to leave it on the stove anymore. You can take it right to the oven because what's going to happen is that heat from the bottom of the oven is going to grill the other side. Awesome. Just like that while it's cooking it. So I'm going to go right to the, uh, right to the oven with that. Oh, whew, okay, we're good to go. Now, just in time, the bacon is ready to go too. So we're going to take the bacon and take it out of there. See how it's, holy, oh, whoa, look watch look yourself how, now. Look out, there's flying bacon grease. <laughs> we gotta get that in slow motion. Yeah, but yeah that's, a, that's a good one right there. You need to wear like safety glasses or something. Yeah, I man. think this so, yes. Okay, so now how we, we've got it all kind of rendered down. It's not completely crisp, but it's rendered down. Look at that. Just a beautiful bowl of bacon. Look at that, hey? My. Gotta love that. Oh. All right, so now that is done. What I want to do is I want to get rid of some of that grease. So I'm going to find a cup somewhere. Just find an old cup that you don't need anymore. And... Uh, and get rid of some of this bacon grease because we don't need all of it. But you know what? That is liquid gold, my friends. Oh, it is. So save it for later. I'll just take a cup of that right now, actually. <laughs> just a little bit of cream and sugar in there and we're good. Sip on that, no problem, hey? Okay, so now we're gonna come back here. Get that ready to go, we'll put this aside for now. All right, so now that we've got the uh, Pork chops, ready to go. They're in the oven and they're going hard. You can actually see the smoke coming out here now too. Uh, we're gonna chop some mushrooms because we're gonna start working on the sauce for the uh, center cut chop uh, pork chops. Okay, so let's get going here. Now these are big, look at the size of these mushrooms. See these mushrooms? Huge. They're called stuffer mushrooms. And what you do is you pop that thing out of there and you can stuff them with whatever you want and stick them in the oven. No. Oh. So stuff for mushrooms. If you want to get uh, good sized mushrooms for that, that's, that's the size that you need right there. But we're going to cut these things up. So ready? Let's do some cutting music. Here we go. And go. Got to get in time. Okay, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Hit the rhythm. Hit the rhythm. No, not yet. We gotta just gotta get in the, in the groove. Here we go. There we go. All right. Oh, fancy! Woo. Sorry, I should have twiddled my knife there. Right. Give it a twirl or something. Here we go. Top in the mushrooms. Twirl, 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 twirl. twirl. <laughs> Top of the mushrooms. <laughs> Someday we'll get this, folks. <laughs> da, da, da. One more to go. Here we go. And done. Woo. Boy, you know, it goes a lot faster when we get the music playing with chopping anything. Okay, so now let's get that back on the heat. We can turn this one off. And let's get the mushrooms in. So mushrooms have got to go in. And so what we're doing is we're getting these all cooked up, of course, before we put it into the, uh, the sauce, the cream sauce that we're going to be making. Okay, so that's turned up. That's ready to go. And you know what? Take a break. Let's let these mushrooms cook down because what's going to happen is they're going to absorb all that bacon grease. Oh, yeah. And you're, so you're going to get a nice flavor coming off of those mushrooms as well, too. So you're going to have bacon grease in the mushrooms. You're going to have bacon in there on top of the pork chop. Let's uh, take a little break here. Oh. Collect ourselves. Yeah. We'll come back and do the cream sauce on Cook the Shack in just a couple of minutes.
Farm to table, Saskatchewan's hog farmers are committed to safe, sustainable pork production. Enjoy the flavor of the world's finest pork raised by people you can trust. Visit saskpork.com or visit us on Facebook at Pick Sask Pork. Shack. We are doing um, our version of bacon mushroom Alfredo sauce on a grilled center cut pork chop. <laughs> oh, just the thought of it, hey? Just the yes. thought of it. Seeing just that sauce dripping down the side of that pork chop. And they're in the oven right now grilling. The mushrooms are ready to go, so we're going to put these in a bowl, set those aside for a little bit. And these uh, mushrooms, of course, were cooked in that bacon fat. So now, like a mushroom, it's a sponge. It kind of soaks up all of that great flavor. So we're gonna get, uh, try to squeeze all those into a little bowl. Can we get them all in there? We got it? Oh yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay, back on the, uh, on the heat. So put that over there. Now, what we wanna do is start uh, making the base for the sauce. So the base for the sauce, really, actually, there's no real base. It's you just start throwing everything in the pan. All right. So you want to start off with some butter. I'm gonna take a nice big dollop of butter and get it in there just like that. Throw the whole thing in. Sure. Why not? About a quarter cup of butter. With a little Don't bit work. of bacon grease. <laughs> That's right, with the leftover bacon grease too. So boy, <laughs> I tell you, we got it all going on here. Don't count the calories, folks. Now whatever you do, don't let it turn brown. Because oh, yeah. then it starts to get I mean, brown butter is good for some things, not good for this sauce, okay? So you just want to get it all melted down. Next, what you want to do is take a bunch of half and half cream. Now, you can go full on cream if you want. Today, I decided I would uh, I'd go a little lighter. Oh, and thank go you. With the, go with the half and half. <laughs> like we were really gonna go half and half with the bacon grease. That's right. We got half and half with the bacon <laughs> grease, we got half and half with the butter, and we got half and half with the full on fat cheese. Yeah, okay, here we go. So we're gonna put in roughly about a half, a little bit more. <laughs> about that much, oh, let me a little more. Oh, about, about a half a quart. We don't, we don't judge, we don't measure. No. None of that. No, Just of course not. Just throw it in. Just get it all in the pan. No question. If it starts to thicken up and you want it to be a little thinner, just put a little bit more cream in. It's that yeah. simple, right? Okay, so whisk it up. Want to get that to a, a nice little round boil. Let it go. Let our rolling boil, I guess you call it. Now what's going to thicken the whole thing up is when we put in the cream cheese. So you can just take uh, regular cream cheese is what we have. And we're going to put in about... <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, How long are you estimating, man? Was, we're gonna put in about half. Yeah. Of half a little bit more. Yeah, about half of a that little container. Little bit more than half. That's right. A little bit more than half. Yeah. Okay. So now what you want to do? Everything's starting to boil up a little bit. You want to move this around, and you want to get it nice and melted into the cream. That's gonna take a little while, but you don't want to. Don't let it sit there or else it's going to burn. You really gotta watch over something like this, right? Exactly, and the more it melts down, the more it thickens up. You see how that works? See how it's that like is? It's like magic. Now, while we're letting that go, we can pepper it up. We wanna put lots and lots of pepper in this. All right, tons and tons of pepper. Let's get all those pepper corns going. You would, if you want, you can put a little hot sauce in here. If you want, you can Ooh. put some, you know, maybe some green onions or something like that. There's, that's the great thing about this sauce, is that you can put whatever you want. So once you have kind of the base of the sauce, you can put whatever you want into it. And that's why we have decided to go with the uh, bacon and mushrooms. Okay, so let's, let's kind of break that up a little bit so that it melts down quicker. Now I've got a problem. All the cheese is inside the whisk. So now what we do is we very carefully do that. See, just nice little taps. Work it, You're work not it. getting it all over the place. You got one more little piece in there. Get in there, get in there, yeah. get in there. And it is 
Gone, okay, good. Now we wanna get that all nice. See how if that's thickening up? It's almost gonna be too thick, so we're gonna have to put a little bit more cream in there too. Which means there's just more sauce in the end, Ex which means life is good. Exactly. The more sauce, the better. Okay, so let's put a little bit more cream in. And now, we don't wanna put any salt or anything in right now because the cheese has salt, the bacon has salt, and of course the mushrooms with the bacon grease has salt too. So we don't wanna to do too much salt right now, but later on, if we try it out and it needs a little bit of something something, then we'll uh, put in the, a little bit more salt. Okay, so that look how nice and velvety smooth that is. See how that works? Now what we wanna do is put in our Parmesan cheese. Mm. A little bit more cheese. Throw that in. That's about a half a cup. We want a little garlic in there. Toss that in. Yep. Okay. So now that's all gonna melt down as well too. Oh, smell that. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Just awesome. Okay. Bacon goes in. Yes. Mushrooms go in. Yes. This is gonna be a good shack. Look at that. Now we just want to turn down the heat a little bit. All right, so we just put the bacon in and the mushrooms, everything is good. And uh, oh, first we have to taste, hey? We have to always have a taste to see what it's going to be like. Mm. It doesn't need anything else. It doesn't, you know what? I could eat that like soup. I bet you could. With a spoon, you could just eat that. Oh, it is so good. So uh, we're gonna take a break here. We're gonna come back. The pork chops are gonna be ready and we're gonna put the sauce on top of the pork chops and we're gonna try it out. Oh, it's gonna be good on Cook with Shack. We got pork chops. We got pork chops. Hey. We got pork chops and bacon and mushrooms too. Nice! Just rolled that one for you, Shaq. Very good, yeah. very good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. It's Cooked with Shaq. We're just going a little loopy here today because it's all about meat, man. It's about bacon, it's about pork chops, it's about mushrooms, it's about cheese, it's about pretty much everything that we always do on yeah. Cooked with Shaq. It doesn't really matter. It's all here and we're about to uh, plate it up right now, as a matter of fact. So, let's go to the oven and take a look at our center cut pork chops look at that we got pork chops we got pork chops baby <laughs> you're not kidding okay so now just to pick the one we want i guess hey we're going to plate this up we'll take let's take this one right here no let's take this one right here this one is a nice big pork chop okay right in the middle of the plate okay so then we come over to the sauce. Dun, dun. Take your spoon. Look at that velvety smooth sauce. Get a lot of mushrooms and bacon in with that. And you put it right over the top. And let's see if we can get, uh, get some more of the sauce kind of drizzling. Look at that, just kind of drizzling, oozing down the side. Oh, does that look good or what? All right, there I got, it is. I got nothing to say, is that Isn't that something? Isn't that wow. just a, a sight to behold? That pork chop with an Alfredo sauce, which is kind of an Alfredo sauce that we just kind of made up. It's got cream, yeah. it's got cream cheese in it, it's got garlic, it's got butter. Of course, we've got the bacon in there. We've got the sauteed mushrooms in there as well too. What else have we got in there? I can't even remember. Just, we just got all kinds of things to make it a wonderful sauce to put on a grilled pork chop and we're about to eat it right now. You know what's so beautiful? Hmm. Just a simple pork chop in the middle of a plate. Look at that, hey? That's all you need, folks. Shall we just pause for a moment of silence for that? Yeah. Okay. And we'd like to thank uh, Mike Hepp for offering up his CD called Elements, and he's been performing throughout the episode on Cook with Shack today, so thank you very much to uh, Mike. And uh, well, all right, I think the next thing we gotta do is just dig right in and thank you very much for joining us on Cook with Shack. We'll see you next time uh, from Harrison and myself. 
We love you. Come on back, okay? Come on back and check us out. Farm to Table, Saskatchewan's hog farmers are committed to safe, sustainable pork production. Enjoy the flavor of the world's finest pork raised by people you can trust. Visit saskpork.com or visit us on Facebook at Pick Sask Pork. 